Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tracks Records Contest. Today we're going to be entering uh, Flip Side with JC's um, 3,000 subscriber contest. Congrats on 3,000 subscribers. It's definitely a huge milestone in someone's YouTube journey. Um, but uh, JC has basically asked us to shout out one channel and th show three records. Uh, one from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So let's get right into it. My shout out is going to be All the World's a Stage. He has an amazing channel, mainly about Rush, which is my favorite band. Um, so I would definitely go follow him. A great guy, a great channel. Hasn't posted in a while, um, but I really enjoy watching his old videos and he does have some uh, great ones, uh, mostly in the vein of Rush. Um, but if you're a Rush fan, I would follow him. Or subscribe to him. Uh, okay, let's get right into it. So my record from the 70s is going to be Naz 3. Now, Naz was Todd Rundgren's first band. Oh, my light just went off. Um, Todd Rundgren's first band. Uh, his self -titled, Their self-titled album is fantastic. Their second album is great. And this is more psychedelic than the first two. The first two are definitely still psychedelic. Um, but mainly garage rock. This is where they definitely got more experimental. Um, but I still enjoy the record. Um, but yeah, there we go. This is Naz 3. My lighting is terrible now that I don't have that light. But you'll have to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> Naz 3. Yeah, great record. 71. I want to say that one came out. Uh, next from the 80s, we have Weird Al Yankovic, Polka Party. This is one I grabbed off of Instagram, actually, weirdly enough. I don't really buy records off of Instagram. Oh, my light's back on. <laughs> I don't really buy records off of Instagram, but um, this was a very good deal, and this one's a pretty hard one to find. 80, 86, this one came out. Um, but yeah, this is a great Weird Al album, kind of a commercial failure. Um, but if you're a hardcore fan, you definitely need this one in your collection. Weird Al Yankovic's Polka Party. And a record from the 90s, um, Skid Row's Subhuman Race. Um, in my opinion, the most underrated Skid Row album. This is definitely when they went more metal. Um, and this came out of the Atlantic Years box set. The originals of these go for crazy money, but I was... I'm um, fortunate to get my hands on the box set and have absolutely been loving it. I sold all of my um, OGs of the Slave to the Grind and um, the self-titled album. Uh, and I think these sound, these reissues sound better than the originals, in my opinion. That's why I sold them. Um, and it was definitely worth getting Subhuman Race and that other um, little EP, live EP on vinyl. So very glad that I got that. Um, but yeah, now I'm from 95, Skid Row's Subhuman Race. Uh, that concludes this episode of Jack's Tracks Contest. Make sure to go follow, um, subscribe to JC and All the World's a Stage. I'll be sure to link their descriptions or link their channels in the description below. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching this episode of Jack's Tracks Records Contests.